In this part now, we'll consider the ratio and stereoisomerization in macromolecules. The isomerization in macromolecules is monomer dependent. So if we consider first the case of symmetrical monomers, like the ethylene and tetrafluoroethylene. So during polymerization, the monomers could be added to each other others via this carbon or this carbon. So, as we don't have any substitute and it's symmetrical, it will be the addition will be the same, and the monomers can join join to each others only one way. But the second case. If the monomers are monosubstituted, so if we have Z substitute over the vinyl um, C double C, like Cl, CH3, etc. So here, monomers may join each others through two different ways. Via the head means the carbon having the Z substitute over it, to tail the second carbon, so we have head to tail addition, or we have mixed additions way, head to tail, uh, sorry, head to head and tail to tail. So according to this substitution over the monomer, the substituted obtained polymers give ratio isomeric specific Polymers. So observe here that the substitute Z can be located above or below the plan defined by the backbone or the carbon chain. Here, as I said, we have the head to tail addition. So we have the Z substituted specific way according to this plan or head to head and tail to tail so here we observe that we have tail tail then the tail will be added to a head and then head head then to tail 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 etc etc so according to the positions of the substitute z we can identify three isomers so mono monosubstituted monomers lead to the isomerization. Thus, we can talk about what we name tacticity. And here we define, as I said, three isomers. We have the isotactic, syndiotactic, and atactic. In the case of isotactic, all the Z substitutes are substituted one, uh, uh, sorry, on the same side of the carbon backbone. The syndiotactic, where the Z in, is uh, distributed in alternate way according the backbone chain. And the atactic, uh, we observe here that the substitute is distributed randomly. So as we have structure variation, Surely, this will influence the properties of the given polymer. If we observe here, for example, the thermal properties of these different polymers, we find that the atactic um, polymer has a Tg of minus 20 degrees C. And this Tg is becoming higher, passing through syndiotactic, arriving to isotactic. Why this variation in Tg? Surely, is related to the structure. Here, the substitutes are distributed randomly. But if we go to syndiotactic and isotactic, the distribution is more regular. So the polymers can get, uh, can come close to each others, having uh, rigidity higher in the case of syndiotactic and much more higher in the case of isotactic. So if the rigidity increases, as I said before, the Young modulus increases. So I need more temperature to get flexibility. So that's why the Tg of isotactic is higher than the one of syndiotactic, which is also higher than the one of attack.
In plus to the tacticity isomerization, which is correlated to the monosubstituted monomers, also we can talk about cis and trans isomers in the case where in the monomer we have more than one double bond. So if we consider, for example, the polymerization of deans, double bond can be maintained in the backbone after polymerization. Thus, we can obtain here polymers having C double C. And while we have C double C, we can talk about two isomerization, cis and trans isomers. And as we have two different isomers, thus we have two different structures. And as structure is varied, thus thermal properties and mechanical properties of these two isomers will differ. So here if I consider the cis and trans isomer of this uh, uh, monomer obtained by polymerization of n 14 betadine which of these polymers has the higher Tg? So if we consider the cis isomers, here they are in A position, and we look on these isomers, we can observe that they cannot pack together. But the trans one in the Z position can easily pack together. And as the trans isomers can pack together, as we know, they become or they give rigid structure or crystalline structures. As the rigidity for the trans isomers is higher than the one of cis, thus the Tg of trans is higher than Tg of cis. An excellent example of such isomerizations is lipid. As we know, Lipids or fats are polymers of fatty acids. And we have saturated fats and unsaturated ones. If we consider first the saturated fats, fact there are linear polymer chains, so they can pack together, giving solid crystalline structure. Example of saturated fats, we have steric acid. As they can pack together and become solid, so they are so bad for health because they close uh, veins and بيعملوا جلطات وبالدماغ وبالقلب وبالرواية وإتس. If we consider the unsaturated fats, we have monosaturated or polyunsaturated and cis isomerization and also on trans isomerization. The difference in isomerization leads to different structures, thus different Tg and different texture of these fats. For example, if we consider the olive oil, the olive oil we have oleic acid or omega-9 uh, which is monounsaturated fat in cis uh, isomerization. We have also linoleic acid, which is omega-6, also having two double bonds in cis position. And also we have linolenic acid, omega-3, where we have three double bonds also in cis position. These polyunsaturated mono or polyunsaturated cis fat as they cannot pack together we observe that the olive oil it's a fluid يعني نحن نشوف انه الزيت الزيتون هو كتير rich بالأوميجا اللي هني polyunsaturated fat اللي هني very healthy ليش الأوليف oil is very healthy well omega 3 و 6 و 9 are very good for health لأنه they are uh, cis 
uh, unsaturated fats so they cannot pack together ما بيعملوا crystalline structure so بما انه ما بيعملوا solid crystalline structure ما بيسببوا انه يصير في تصلب بالشرايين و... وتسكير للشرايين ويصير في عندي جلطات so عشان هيك ال olive oil it's very very healthy so because of this cis التكستشر تبع الفات ما بيكون سوليد If you consider now the unsaturated fats which are in trans positions مثل ما قلنا الترانس الترانس uh, they can pack together So how do the trans بما انه they can pack together so they are unhealthy لانه بيسكروا الشرايين So why am I looking at how trans fats usually لما يكون عندي انا سيس انساتوريتد الاويل نجي نعمل له هيدروجينيشن يا اما توتال هيدروجينيشن او بارشل هيدروجينيشن سو اف وي ميك توتال هيدروجينيشن ويل جيت ساتوريتد فات لان دي ار لينير اند دي كان باك توجذر او اف وي ميك بارشل هيدروجينيشن اند از هيدروجينيشن از يوزوالي دون ات هاي تمبريتشر اند اندر بريشر سو Uh, part will be saturated and the second part which is still unsaturated will be transformed to trans unsaturated fat so in both cases whatever total hydrogenation or partial hydrogenation the results are saturated fat or mixed of saturated fat and trans unsaturated fat and both they are unhealthy So usually, these we can find this kind of unsaturated uh, trans fats and uh, processed food and uh, fried food and uh, um, bil popcorn. Why bil popcorn? Because the popcorn, we are making to make the popcorn, we are making the oil. So we um, do partial hydrogenation. We have the formation of trans and uh, saturated fats. عشان هيك also زيت القلي is not uh, healthy نحن ما لازم نقلي بالزيت أكتر من twice maximum three times لأنه كل مرة عم نقلي عم نعمل له hydrogenation وعم نحاوله ل saturated and trans and saturated fats so we have to avoid this kind of food where we have uh, saturated and trans and saturated fat as summary We have the saturated fats, which where we can where we can find these saturated fats usually in butter, in beef meat, pizza, ice cream, etc. And saturated fat, trans like cookies, uh, fast food, donuts, uh, fries, not fire. And uh, unsaturated fat, the olive oil, almonds, vegetables like avocado, fish, which they are rich in omegas. Uh, unsaturated fat and which they are excellent uh, for health so from nowadays you have to pay attention about what you are eating and you have to check for your health the food labels and to find or to see or to read and to compare the total fat not just the total fat you have to pay attention how much you have saturated fat and how much you have trans fat and you should select the ones that you, you have the higher quantity of saturated of uh, fats should be polyunsaturated or monounsaturated to be healthy well, avoid the chips well, uh, uh, kill the processed food to stay or to have good health see you next time